What up, what up, what up? We back at it. It's the wrap up. Another episode. Where you at? If you ain't been here before, tune in. We got some dope vibes. We got my homie from long. Hey, my feet to the moment. We got we got stories to share. You know it's the wrap up. We're giving you the best interviews and all. Um Ash, my guest today oh, is my homie Solid. All the way from the 1852, oh, representing. Hey, that's a fair Jack. Long, bro. It's been a while, dog. We go way back, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Glad yeah. to be here. Shout out to everybody. Big up, big up. Wrap up. I, I, I enjoyed the first episode with uh, my AJ. AJ. Yeah. Hey, AJ set the bar, though. Nah, it was dope. It was dope. I thought it was just. Just for the mere fact that there's that type of content yeah. coming up f- out of Soweto, it was, yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys so, will yeah. just keep elevating, just keep doing more, and keep like pulling niggas from Big the up. hood, Big bringing up. them here. They yeah. need to know, like, you know, that What's these up? platforms exist. You know, so I was like, you know, why not? Yeah, uh, and we happy, man. We we just happy to have you here. That's um, an honor, man. Yeah, dog. Let's talk, man. What you like, wanna talk what, about, bro? You you you've been you've been around since yo you OG according to yeah start at this angle you yeah. OG that's crazy, right? I'm a, yeah. <laughs> you How did we get here, man? <laughs> Who would have thought that we'd yo, be OGs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time f- time man. flies, man. But and it's then, crazy. I feel young, man. It's I don't lie, Yeah. Sure, I'm one that they probably thinking ah, it's just another rapper or another NPC. Yeah, I'm sure the NPC. But I'm telling you, he's true, the man. Exactly. Like, crazy frog. Yeah, and what's crazy is that like I'm in this position where I have to like remind people that I rap, uh, you know. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And it's like yo, but I was like, when I stopped rapping in the in the time I wasn't rapping, I was like focused on making beats. And it was actually dope for me, actually, if I think about it, because I was now stepping back mm. and learning how to actually create something from scratch, you know, from fully invest the time. Yeah, from the yeah. sonic aspect now, yeah. because now I feel like, dude, rap, man, you can, everybody's rapping now. True. You know, everybody. So we can <laughs> argue that you know you could you you could literally stop rapping, learn how to make beats, yeah. and come back and yeah. rap, you know, True. because rap has these fundamentals. Mm that apply even if like the sound changes but the basics of it still are there you know so now i'm like back rapping because i have this project that i want to put out and okay. i was like man you know yeah, but we get to the project we'll, 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 we'll to get the, to that we'll though. get to the project uh, we go way back. Dark. Third wave like days. Third wave. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me third wave. Like, and let's, all that. let's talk about third wave. Much okay, I guess we have to start. We gotta do, we on the third wave right now, homie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that Dude, is you just know what's, epic. what's crazy is that I keep getting like tagged in Facebook. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Questions they about must. third wave. What? They must. What? Why doesn't anybody uh, call Come these back. niggas? Come hey, back. What's going on? Nah, man. Look, that thing is funny. First of all, yeah. right? To to be like, oh yeah, we're in the third wave of the pandemic. And you, you know, know it's, it's like you and we had it. a rap group <laughs> called Third Wave. Why don't they do some not, right now? And I was like, ah, oh, that's funny, sure. But like at the same time, it was like, but guys, are we basing it on, you know, people have been dying, man. You know, it's a bit insensitive. It's yeah, a bit yeah, crazy. Yeah. Even if we put something out right now, like what does it mean? What are we saying? You know, mm-hmm. when we're talking about an, a virus that's killing people, you know. But um, but, me as but a the fan, shit is funny though. If, as a fan, I've been entertaining. As a fan, yeah. I would be like, you know, you guys would drop a third wave album and drop like that conscious. Yeah. What's going on right yeah, now? Yeah, about you the know? state of things. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but, but the thing as is, as a fan, you know. Yeah, I, I and I get that. Yeah. I get that, and yeah. I probably would have said the same thing. Yeah. If I was on the yeah. outside yeah. looking yeah. in, yeah. but it's also just like time has 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 mm. moved, you know. Yeah, um, yeah, and just where we are. Everybody's lives have been moved in different directions, kind of, you know. A couple of dudes are, you know, parents now, you know. People have literally moved away from Soweto, away from Jomba. Yeah. You know, it's it's just, it's a weird dynamic now, you know. Yeah. But those is my niggas, those is like, those are the dudes that 
introduced me into yeah. like you know you local hip hop because I was like the truth is I was always the young one in the in the group. In the whole group. Yeah, those <laughs> niggas was like you know a few years older than yeah. me. Those niggas were sneaking me yeah. in clubs. <laughs> you know, I was rapping for adults yeah. as a teenager. Like yeah. I would have to like you know go rap mm -hmm. on a school night, dog. You know, <laughs> I and I have to. Be, that, so you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah. So. Yeah. You know that shit was dope, man. And salute to the to the gents, yeah, man. Those yeah. dudes, like, cause they were those some of the some of the gents from Third Wave, like you know Quiz, Crusade. Those dudes were, they know the Lee Club era, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and they were young, sneaking into there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so they yeah. had stories for me, of, to, to of that. Vibe. Yeah, they were yeah. telling me about Bionic. Yeah, and you know. Yeah. They were telling me about Rasty, who's, I always just used to see Rasty's graffiti and be like, who the fuck is that? And they, were, they knew who that was, you know? So it's very dope, man. I, I think for me, it was a dope, like, rite of passage, you know, just into local hip hop. My favorite story of, of, of you guys actually uh, performing was at Splash Jam. Yeah. One time, I don't know why you guys were pissed or what was going on that yeah. day. And then Jazz rocked up. And then took a T-shirt. Oh uh, yeah, was well that in. was the yeah that the, was the for me as a fan. I was like, whoa, that's epic. Whatever <laughs> was going down there, you know, uh, yeah. that was epic, bro. That was epic. But yeah, yeah man, well, that was just uh, it was a fallout with jazz. You know? And the truth is, like, I was also like a last entry in in the re branding of the yeah. of the crew, you know, because. Third wave started with uh, jazz, quiz, mm. crusade, mm. Uh, phoenix, mm. Mm. and um, but like just I think the energies just weren't gelling well with with jazz with and the mm. gents, you know, mm. Mm. and when they started it was initially them, literally like the, even the recording it mm. was just them, and I was just mm. I just happened mm. to be friends but with say, yeah. Lima yeah, gents, yeah, you know, say. and. And like I was saying, like it was almost like my rites of passage. I was just kind of hanging with these dudes. I met them at a at a park. Some dude was doing a, a battle rap thing, you know. And I battled. I killed two niggas. And these guys were like, "Yo, dude, just hang with us," yeah. you know. So I think that so that that incident, you know, which is now like kind of epic. It's epic, bro. Uh, was just like yeah. It, um, there was th that separation happened. You know, jazz felt yeah, away at yeah. the time. And, uh, and the whole rebranding. Yeah, and then we the whole rebranding started happening, which was also, you know, I thought it was still cool. You yeah. know, we got. No, you guys still. We still got Guaza. Yeah. We got like you know the first white rapper who was <laughs> spitting in the neck, dog. Hey, and people were like, "Yo, are you guys riding for him?" Yeah. Nah, dog. Like, Guaza was sick. You know, he's um, still rapping. He's still out there. He is. He's. Uh, I, I, I think some of y'all know him as Bule. Bule, the comedian. Yeah, uh, the comedian, but yeah. he's like. Uh, he's with a he's with a band uh, okay. called Bomb Shelter Beast. Oh, okay. And okay. Uh, okay. yeah, he's still like doing some of his Vanag raps yeah. and then mixing yeah. it up. He's and that band is literally a band. They play like mm -hmm. multiple instruments, mm -hmm. and he's like the you know the mouthpiece yeah. of that group. So um, yeah, man, a lot of epic shit. Ah, Third wave did lot. you know? Um, the first time we performed at Splash Jam, mm. everybody booed us. Splash was brutal, dog. Brutal, dog. Hey. And a lot of people don't have that anymore. Hey, that, yeah. You know, no, yeah, everything yeah. comes yeah. simple to everybody today, you know. Yeah. But, like, nobody has that, like, you know, that, that hard knock that mm. makes you come yeah, back. Yeah, nowadays, nowadays, you, you, we give you a chance. Yeah, you know. Even if you're work, we'll be, like, complaining, but I'll say, like, yeah. <laughs> On like, the side. Yeah, yeah. Back then, Look, back. I thought it was a boo. It was a rap. Yeah, bro. it was a rap. Yeah, it was, it was tough. Blow, my boy, my and we came months. back, we came back literally because, you know, Space Jam was annual every every month. Yeah. We came back the, the following month. Mm. Literally performed the same shit we performed that they booed us for. <laughs> and then everybody... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was weird, dog. Crazy yeah, times, bro. Yeah. And ever since then, you know, Third Wave was always just killing shit. And then beat making. How did yeah. you get into making beats? Oh, I don't know uh, Man, I think I was always curious about music production, you know, and I, I literally did not study music. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Third Wave at the time, we had a producer from 
Mpumalanga, Sekunda, okay. Mchacho. Okay, yeah. He was making yeah, all the yeah. beats, you know, but Terminator, yeah, man, that's yeah. his production. I, and and then, like, yeah, we, yeah. the thing is, he was too far. You know, he was in Pumalanga, Jova Kids, you know, that, the, like, the logistics just started becoming hectic to go there. Mm. The internet wasn't really a thing, so it was, it was hard to send stuff mm. through. So eventually, man, I started, like, being curious, man, about, like, production. And when I met Guaza, he was, you know, crate digging. That dude has vinyls for days, but he has a basement full of vinyls. Mm. And he was cooking on Fruity Loops and he taught me how to use Fruity. Okay. Then he would chop samples and give me like waves. Then he gave me like a Fruity Loops demo. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. I started like learning, just like being curious and just chopping loops. Yeah. Then man, it started becoming like, uh, you know, I was like plagued, man. I mm, could just mm. think of beats, mm. you know, only now. And it was crazy because then when the third wave thing started fizzling out, I started moving towards just production yeah. more. I met Solo. Yeah, I, yeah. I met Solo and I started making stuff for him and he would be like, yeah, yeah, that's dope, that's dope, that's dope. Yeah. And, you know, and damn, man, it was crazy. And then you guys started the whole... We started Better Gang, yeah, Better Gang. with L the Third. Shout out L the yeah, Third. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and L Sato. the Third is also an NPC, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. extraordinaire. Yeah, and I met, yeah. I met, formally I met L the Third at a Sky Zoo gig that SCF was open. Oh, yes, 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 yeah. at UPE. Yeah. Hey. I formally yeah. met Al the Third at that thing, and I had my MPC in my bag because I wanted Sky Zoo to autograph yeah, it, yeah, which yeah, I got yeah, my autograph. Yeah, yeah. And then Al was like, yo, dude, I have an MPC too. Um, that's dope. And then he told me where he lives. Yeah. We weren't. Yeah, plus it was Middle Scar. Exactly. And, it, and we didn't live far apart, yeah. so we started linking up Saturdays. Yeah. And then it turns out, you know, uh, yeah, we were like on the same page, you know, and we started sharing notes. Okay. Then I started now diving deeper into production you know and, and i don't know if you know instro yes yeah he's yes, so he used yes, to be an engine he's an engineer and he used to be an engineer at motif yes and he like uh met solo solo was like yo dude, i'm trying to get a band but i don't want to do the dj thing and and he was like yo call l mm. you know he plays an mpc maybe l hits me up to come to that thing and he's like just bring an mpc i'm like all right we get to do me studios, you know, shout out, you know. Yeah. Get to do me studios, it's like two NPCs, solo hooks in with Dinao. I went to high school with Dinao, so that was just not awkward. It was just like, oh shit, homie. So it was like, oh, two NPCs, this is finished. That's my band, you know, and and that was that. Mm. Dude. That's how shit started go, going crazy. And then it, it's crazy that relationship started opening me up to other stuff, man. Yeah. I started meeting, you know, Books, who was the man behind Ivy League? Okay, that guy produced all the, those okay. Ivy League beats, mm, you know, mm, Victory mm, Lab, mm, you know, mm, all mm. those um, the hits, Bamba, Apple, yeah. you know. And I met Books, man, and uh, Books never taught me anything, I was just sitting just watching. watching. I was like, damn, this dude is crazy. And everything he made, he was in school that time, though, because we're the same age, it's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the world just started opening up, you know. Um, mm -hmm. yeah crazy enough when I started producing more I started meeting people that inspired me mm. yeah. so with the, with, the, with, the, with the software that you started with yeah. which is Fruity Loops yeah are you still using Fruity Loops yeah and that's a good question the, and if you're not what are you using that's a dope question yeah. because literally you know once I started being so comfortable on Fruity I bought my first MPC the 1000 mm -hmm. uh uh, when I got my first job, like 2010, you know, mm -hmm. I bought uh, the 1000. And then once I started like getting to a point where I could do everything I could do on Fruity on the MPC, mm -hmm. then I started, you know, I, I literally made that transition, mm -hmm. you know, into the MPC. And in fact, the MPC 1000 does not link with a computer. So there is no software unless you, you know, connect it directly mm -hmm. via jack mm -hmm. and just, you know, chop the waves. Okay. So then I started saving up for the MPC Renaissance, this one, which was the first one that they made that can link with a computer. Mm. And it came with a software. Mm. So eventually now I could do everything I could do on Fruity on this thing, uh, okay. which didn't need uh, like a MIDI or anything. Mm. You can mm. play synths on this thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's how <coughs> that happened. I, I haven't used Fruity in a while. In I a actually while. miss it. Kind of. yeah, yeah, yeah. But the MPC is just fun, man. It's like banging on the table. How, how, but the 
it's speaking back. Yeah, it's it, talking it, back to you, you know. How, how much time do you put in? In, 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 in? Crazy enough, when I got this, and like I said, I had my first job. Yeah. First four, three months, dog, I wasn't even... I didn't have enough time, bro. Yeah. It was crazy. I it was, was like, just there. Chilling. Yeah, it was just chilling. <laughs> like, like you know, it's you know, life is crazy, dog. You pray and dream about having something. Mm. Then when you have it, it's just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're like, oh, you don't have enough time. Okay, I have a car now. Yeah. So what, you know? Yeah. But then like, um, what did what did I actually start doing? I started dedicating time, man. You know, mm, mm, to just mm. learning it more and more. And then you know, eventually I was like, oh man, this this thing is actually simple. It's it, it takes time. But like if you take it if you take the time man, you know, you start to get to a point where you, you figure it out. I started studying guys like Booney Mayfield. Hey. You know the hey. the GOAT, uh Bo Bo A Rap music, you know, what just watching how they're doing and then eventually I was like, Man, I'm a kid from Soweto, yeah. you know, you know, l- using this product. Yeah. There's something unique here, man, you know. And I started, you know, I started coming to every gig yeah. and just playing, I, even if it was five minutes, ten minutes, just playing a beat. And you were actually practicing at yeah. the shows. Right? Yeah, <laughs> literally. The truth was I was practicing. Yeah. Everyone was like, yo, yeah, you're so dope. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually just yeah. learning. I yeah. just don't know, you know. So practice is very important. Practice is very important. How, how, much, time, how much time would you, would you, would you, would you say you need to invest? Or how, what would you advise yeah. anyone who's in, in, in beat making to invest in terms of time? Every every hour of your life, bro. Yeah. Yeah, dude, every hour. Because, you know, even when I, I was in my nine to five, dog, I was still like thinking about, oh man, you know, I gotta get home and work on these loops, dog, you know? Yeah. So I, I suppose even if when you're not physically doing anything, it has to be, happening in your head yeah. so if you're listening if you're in a car and someone and an og plays like a, a, a someone from the 70s mm. a vintage thing your brain should already be like listening to the drums mm. in there listening to a cool part and then you should be figuring out what is that song mm. you know how how do i find it yeah yeah and up. then let me chop it up yeah. you know and for me my my production skills came from s- sampling man mm. you know and once I got to a point where I didn't really need to sample, I felt more comfortable. But now I can do both. I, like, yeah, yeah. I can play synth I stuff. Chop. I can play sample stuff. Now you chop, dog. Yeah. I want, but I still want to hear you I still rap. love, yeah. I want to hear you I still rap. love uh, sampling, man. It's just the, it's literally like it's like boom bap rap, yeah. right? Like that. It's like the fundamental, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. and beat making is also like. Just sampling is that fundamental of that mm. of that one thing, you know. If you think about it, dog, people made NPCs popular because they couldn't go to music school, you know. They they invented this thing for 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 bands mm. who couldn't like have an entire you know uh, band mm. on on stage. Mm. So they started creating programming, mm. you know. And then hip hop came. Mm. You know, someone bought this thing. I was like, man, I can put like other sounds in there. You know what I mean? Hip hop is crazy because the NPC wasn't made for hip hop. Mm. You know, we took it and made it ours. Hip hop, hip hop, hip amazing. Pop back up, I talk a little piano. Watch. Yeah. Go to Felange. Ish. Ish the piano. Then I got the angle is wrong. The the piano error. Then I got the angle. Arre, perfect. Arre, perfect. I know you, you, you. You kind of like prepare some special. Yeah, just got just just a couple of bars. Please, bro. For the Bless culture. Me and my peoples. For the culture. Put us on. Put us on, man. Ha! Ha! Solid, the gifted, shining armor. Yeah. The wrap up. I don't want to be artificial. I'm just trying to make my art official. Like Nelson Magamo with the sharpest pencil. You wondering what's the larger issue? Get gone or get your vest on. I'm trying to gauge your heart to hit you. Heat seeking like a target missile. For each season, these heathen seas breathing when I spark a pistol. My dog, I ain't trying to argue with you. In the Renaissance, you'll get expunged once. It's fundamental. Reminiscing, we were piss poor. Now, nah, when I. 
Hit the bank, I just withdraw, let's play a game, little fella. This is Jigsaw, hit more lames in this era full of pitfalls. Uh, top of the totem pole, watch how I'm on a roll. Solid was born to glow, I honestly thought you'd know. This me, that could prove to be risky. Bitch, please, I'll turn your disc to a frisbee. Me the lance, if you're out there, let me see your hands. Niggas get took out, look out if you don't seem advanced. The truth will set you free, what will it cost? It's ironic how these false prophets are willing to cross us. But not until they're digging our pockets, keep it 100. This is what you get from a novice. Read the signs, redefine what binds our teams. I feel it's time we shine, just like diamond rings. My grandma was a seamstress, designer jeans. Tell my old girl I moved on to finer things. Provided there's no fronting. Face it, y'all, I've been ducking vultures way before Spider Man's homecoming. Now I'm just so touching that it's to my surprise. If he dies, he dies, I'm Dolph Lundgren. How could I ever set up for failure? You could never hang better gang paraphernalia. Couldn't catch a body if it was a crash dummy. Groupies in the lobby always wanna act funny. Like Jella Booty, I'm Fela Kuti. Excuse me, but dudes be more like Trevor Kumbi. Comfortable in my own skin, you won't win. If we don't get an invitation, we'll just kick the door in. All praise is due to Allah. I'm a grown man, y'all don't hear me. God forgive me when I go ham. I write the beat on cruise control. I possess the kind of heat that could bruise your soul. If you snooze, you could lose your hope. It's my confessional booth where the truth is told. Greatness, my mama knew when I was few years old. Basic obstacles make it impossible to face us. When pockets go, it's honorable to fold. Whoa, that's what's up. The rapper, that's what's up. That's, that's, Shining that's, armor, that's, that's what's up. up. <laughs> Solid the gifted, that's, that's what's up. up. Bet again, that's, that's what's up. up. Shout out to the third wave, that's, that's what's up. up. That's, that's what's up. up. <laughs> Myth it to the madness, man. Myth it to the madness. Soon, real soon, real soon. Maji, it was Maji. an honor. It was a pleasure. Thanks for having me, you. dog. Ah, it, it was, was the lit. fun times. We Legendary. Will continue the fun times. You know, on Amfetu, we have a party wherever we go. We stick at the head nod every Saturday. Head nod music. Uh, but yo, dog, keep okay. pushing. Look out for the album when it drops. Get the album, support the album. Please, Don't sleep, man. man. It's Don't the sleep. wrap up. And we out.